In this video, I'm going to give you five of the best webcam options for live streaming in high quality. I'm going to go over options for all budget levels, give you live demos of multiple cameras, and they all work with Riverside's new live streaming tools, which allows you to live stream to multiple destinations, get all your live chats in one place, and record in high quality so you can edit it later. First up, one of the best webcams you can use is the phone you already have in your pocket. If you have an iPhone and a Mac, you can use Continuity Camera to use your iPhone as a webcam for free. And coming very soon, Riverside has its own mobile cam feature, which will allow you to use an Android or iPhone with a Mac or PC and use that mobile device as a high quality webcam. Here in Riverside, I'm gonna select my iPhone as a webcam using Continuity Camera. You can also use the microphone built into your iPhone or a USB mic, and Continuity Camera will get you 1080p HD recording, and coming soon, Riverside's mobile cam feature will actually get you 4K from your mobile device. Overall, I find the white balance and even low light performance from a mobile device like an iPhone is one of the best options you can get, even better than most dedicated webcams. So this is a live demo right here, my iPhone camera, with my same studio setup, recording directly in Riverside, and it looks great. But understandably, a lot of people don't wanna to have to use their mobile phone as a webcam all the time and have it tied up the entire time you're recording. So one of my other suggestions is the Logitech Stream Cam. This is a good middle of the road webcam. You are gonna get 1080p HD streaming. You can get the Stream Cam on Amazon for about $140. I'll put a link to it down in the video description. The Logitech Stream Cam is just plug and play. You see it appears right here in Riverside. I can select it as my webcam option. You get that 1080p recording right here. And let's jump in and record a quick sample. Now you can see right out of the box, this is actually not gonna be as good video quality as my iPhone as a mobile device. The white balance and brightness is a little off. You can adjust these settings with the Logitech G Hub app. I'll put a link to that in the video description as well. But if you want something that's just easy to use and out of the box, this will be okay for most lighting situations, but you might have to make some adjustments to make it look exactly how you want. And here's kind of a side-by-side -side between the Logitech Stream Cam and just my iPhone in continuity camera, in the same lighting, same environment. Now, another option that's right around the same price is actually the Opal Tadpole. Now, I reviewed this before saying, I'm not sure how good the quality was, especially compared to your mobile phone, but it's had some firmware updates and the Opal Composer, which is the software you can use to adjust the video quality, has improved since I made that video. The Opal Tadpole is also really convenient for laptop users. It basically has a built-in clip so you can put it right on your laptop lid. It's USB-C, like the Logitech Stream Cam and other webcams that I'll show you in this video, but the video quality is actually pretty good. The Logitech Tadpole comes in at $150, again, really designed for laptop users, but you still get that 1080p HD video quality. Now you can choose the Opal Tadpole as a straight webcam, no adjustments, or you can install the Opal Composer, linked down in the description, which allows you to adjust some colors and also turn on things like face lock. So it'll actually focus on me as I move around the frame. Again, the Opal Tadpole gets you that 1080p live streaming right here in Riverside, it works well, and it gets a little closer to that DSLR look with that blurred background. You do need to use the Opal Composer for that, and it will still struggle in some lighting conditions. I found that in low light and without some natural lighting, it kind of gets overblown, as you can see right here in my studio. And so even there, your mobile phone like an iPhone will give you a better overall picture because of that white balance and brightness adjustments. But this can look good with proper settings and lighting conditions, and it works great with a laptop with that built-in clip. Another camera made by Opal is the Opal C1. This is actually a 4K webcam, and it works 4K in Riverside. Also USB-C, really nice hardware and build quality. Also works with the Opal Composer, so you can make those adjustments. But it is also double the price coming in at $300. Now, if you connect it to your computer via USB-C, here in Riverside, you still have the two options. You can choose the Opal C1 directly, which only gets you 720p, or you can choose the Opal Composer. This is what the Opal Composer looks like, and here I can choose 1080p or go up to 4K quality. Now, depending on your hardware, going up to 4K quality might cause some jittering or lost frames if your processing hardware isn't powerful enough. So if you do get this camera and you find it's kind of stuttering or freezing in the video, you might wanna back it down to 1080p. Now, while that does defeat the purpose of a 4K camera, I do find this picture quality has been improved both in software with a firmware update on the camera and the Opal Composer. Here in Riverside, I'll choose the Opal Composer as my video input, you can see it here, and let's join the studio. Now we're recording and live streaming in Riverside with high quality, and as you can see, I do find that the Opal looks much better than it used to. So if you do want a high quality webcam and that 4K video option, the Opal C1 I think now is a reasonable choice. Now, a few of the recommendations you can try, and then I'll give you one more professional option for a webcam. I previously reviewed here on the Riverside channel the Anchor PowerConf. This is a good budget option at $60. There's actually a coupon right now. You can get it for even less. 
has a nice privacy feature, USB-C, and great for traveling. The quality is lower than other webcams and probably your mobile phone, but it's a nice dedicated option. And if you're looking for better video quality and maybe even 4K, another option in the Logitech Stream Cam price range is the Elgato Face Cam Mark II. This camera does look good. And there's also a Face Cam Pro, which gets you that 4K streaming. If you do want that 4K video quality though, this Elgato face cam might have some issues with Riverside, so just be aware. So if you do get this, maybe do a test recording before your actual live stream. But for a final webcam option, what if you want your video to look like this, the video you're seeing right now? Well, you can actually use a mirrorless camera like a Sony ZV-E10, Panasonic GH camera, Canons, and more as webcams with your computer. Many mirrorless webcam makers actually have a webcam utility option that allows you to connect your big mirrorless camera to your computer with a single USB-C cable and use it as a webcam. I actually use my mirrorless camera right here, what you're looking at, which is the Sony a7 IV. That actually goes to a Blackmagic ATEM switcher, which works great in Riverside. And that's how I live stream and record my podcast. This video footage you're looking at right now from our podcast was live streamed from Riverside using my mirrorless camera and my A10 mini switcher. If you wanna learn more about using a mirrorless camera as a webcam, I have an entire video walking through that process. You can check it out right up here or that link is in the description. And one more time, if I jump into the Riverside studio, I can choose my Blackmagic A10 mini switcher as my video source. And the video you're seeing right here is my mirrorless camera coming into Riverside through that A10 mini. This is not overlaid or any kind of special effect. I'm just screen recording exactly what's going to live stream when I click go. And remember with the new Riverside live streaming tools, you can add multiple destinations. Like here, I've connected my Twitch account, multiple YouTube channels via RTMP, and I can even live stream to Instagram via RTMP settings. If you're on a standard or pro Riverside plan, you can upgrade to the Live Studio add-on. Then you can stream up to 1080p video quality and remove the Riverside watermark. You can still live stream via Riverside audience mode for those live call-ins. If you wanna learn more about audience mode, check out the video above or in the description. And when I click go live, I'm actually streaming in high quality video and audio, and it's being recorded in high quality. And that's the magic of Riverside. Your video and audio is being recorded locally on device, and those high quality files are being uploaded to your Riverside dashboard in addition to live streaming at up to 1080p quality. The video you're looking at right now, me talking to the camera, is directly from Riverside. And we have even more great live streaming tools like OmniChat, which pulls in the live chat from Twitch, YouTube, and more destinations all in one place. You can brand your studio so it looks just how you'd like, use our new lower third overlays, show videos via the media board or screen shares, and a ton more. If you'd like to learn more about Riverside live streaming tools, check out this video right up here. You know where that link is down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button before you go. Plus, if you want to learn about the importance of adding video to your podcast and growing a dedicated audience, this way they engage with your content and they are loyal followers, check out this video right up here about building an audience that loves your content. Links to the webcams that I talked about are also down in the video description, and we can't wait to see what you live stream.